Hello and welcome to Tea Time on PLUS TV Africa Channel 408. So Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show, the hottest by the way, if I do say so myself. Uh, we cover all the important and big stories in the industry about your favorite personalities and also cover everything pertaining lifestyle in the spirit of obviously serving hotness because that's just what we do. We have a talented guest in store for you today. And of course, I have my squad deep core anchors, Ifa Nojke and Enola Baby. Well, 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 Hi. Good people. Good. Please, is it only me or today feels like Friday? <laughs> today feels like Monday actually. Ah, uh, I'm so feeling much like stress. I'm, I'm stressed up by this time. I don't know why. Mm, I feel like I'm done for the week. Like I just want to go chill. Yeah. I go chill now. Ah, oh, well, it was that easy. <laughs> but anyway, how was yesterday? Mm. So, so, same old now. Same, we're repeating the same cycle again. Uh -uh. Maybe something happened, maybe something fun happened. Nah. What happened yesterday? I got home late, so I just slept. Oh, okay. Sleeping is good, though, so something happened. I, yeah, because you were complaining that about... I didn't get enough yeah, sleep all weekend, sure. so I got a lot of sleep, and I don't I look rested. Yeah. It's good that we're all rested, because today's topic, so it needs some type of righteous Oof. anger. Okay. And uh, let, let me start with the not-so-serious one. Mm -hmm. And that's Prince Bobo. Who, uh, he's a lawyer to popular singer Davido. Um, <laughs> as he engaged Chioma Roland in a subtle exchange after she dragged him for always sharing photos of Davido, Prince Bobo had shared a photo of himself and OBO with a caption encouraging his fans to be upright as the week kick starts. And I quote, Tis indeed the season. Though it doesn't feel like it, we will do our best despite all things to be jolly. I pray you have a blessed Sunday and a week and a week ahead, mm -hmm. he wrote. Mm -hmm. And then Chama came from any from nowhere. Mm -hmm. And Chama shamed him for always using Davido's photos as a star of the week. And I quote, if you don't post David, your week never starts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what <laughs> that's what yeah. she said. So Prince Bobo, however, fired back. He said, and he gave it to her as it hot. He now said, You evil spirit, you have surfaced again. <laughs> Custom bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's intense, mm -hmm. if you ask me. I don't know what's up with them. I'm, I'm kind of shocked more at Chioma. I didn't really expect that. Yeah, she seems like kind of person that just didn't really have time for that. I mean, there's a lot about her on social media mm -hmm. and, you know, deformation of character to even say the least. But I don't really see her in comment sections going, you know, God to punish you people like most True. people do or like, you know, she doesn't mm -hmm. even have Twitter fingers. So this for me kind of seems like it's a bit personal, like... Like, maybe she doesn't actually like the guy in real life. Sure. Either way, I, per I personally think she was out of place. Like, it's not your picture that he used. If he wants to use the video from morning till night, Cute. if the video is not really <laughs> complaining about that, or, you know, I don't think it's your place to say that. And it was kind of embarrassing the way she, like, she like commented. So, yeah, it was kind of weird. But I don't know about this now, whole evil spirit thing. Uh, I don't know. Something is going on there. It's too clear. <clears throat> Before you start, let me just ask a quick, quick question. Please, if Davido is close to you, like you have a one-on-one -on -one with Davido, won't you share his picture every time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to be close to Davido. Even me, if I was very close to Davido, I think I would share his picture every time. Mm. But like you said earlier, I think they have maybe a personal beef between two of them because mm. I don't see the reason why she needs to bash him. But that's just my own If it's mm -hmm. extremely quiet, so I guess Thank he has you. something oh. grand, no. <laughs> grand has to pour out mm? for us. No, I don't have no rents to pour out. I only have words to speak out. Mm. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, basically, I don't, I don't see what's wrong with what the both of them did. I, I would feel like there are two people catching crews, like two people that are cool with each other. It don't look like people that are mad at each other. He said, if you don't put your week, never start. And she put some emoji and he said, you evil spirit, you have surfaced again. I don't think David O's lawyer would want to speak to David O's wife in no such a manner if they were not joking. Especially on social media. He's a grown man, yes. Mm -hmm. But if you're always using David Do as a post and then she says something about it and then you go back to call her an evil spirit because she didn't get insulted with him. So for him to get that insulted, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, if, you, if you no post David Do, your week never, not be insulted. Now, now, facts only. 
So it's not she stated. Not I mean, obvious, shade, she stated okay. the obvious. No, it, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe people are trying to get a shade out of it. Okay. But for me, I just see like ah, two people that are cool. It's like me knowing that okay, you know, I'm whiskey's guy, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm posting whiskey. And if I one day, and I'm always posting whiskey, I'm always, and if I one day put it in my comments section that yeah, and this is your whiskey boy. In fact, I think. You should just say something and then I reply, you hate her. Please I don't know, I, I, you know, as you're even saying it, you can see that it's kind of like a laugh in your face and mm -hmm. all of that. Those things, oh trans God, those things transcend in text messages as well. Sure. There would be an LOL, mm -hmm. there would be an, an emoji. emoji. Yes. There'll be, even if, even if you're not laughing, there'll be that face like, mm, Do you know or whatever, you have whatever. That one friend that you guys just go at They're not the friends. Thank it was you. very clear that, that they're not friends. How? From because this even, message? even with this research, I've not seen one picture. Okay. If you're going to be together. friends like that, that or more, these people are hang, you know, hanging out together. One, one I, one I, one I, together. I, the mm -hmm. first thing I did was research what is the relationship between the both of them. Yeah. Okay. And calling somebody a witch without LOL. Not call her a witch. It said you evil, evil spirit. spirit. Wow, much better. Evil spirit <laughs> or witch or... I'm, I, mean, I'm, I, think, I'm, I don't know. Maybe because of the type of friendship I have. Mm -hmm. I have friends that I'm super cool with like that, that we can exchange in a I comment think, section. I think people in the... I think celebrities are a lot more conscious about that. When they want to make a joke, they laugh. Have you ever been to t um, Tunde Ednots, whatever? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not because you know, they have a problem with laughing or putting emojis. Mm -hmm. it, it's too subtle. I mean, to say that it is completely fine is going to be hard for me to accept. Okay. Maybe it's not as big as it is, but the fact that they were not even laughing, they were not even doing emojis or whatever, you cannot tell me that she doesn't know that that joke is offensive. True. Even if you wanted to joke, make it a joke and laugh or do it an emoji, yes. LMA, mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever. You know how it looks like. And, and no, okay, let's talk about the picture. <laughs> and let's talk about this actually posted mm -hmm. the videos thing. It mm -hmm. is kind of like weird and the example you gave is different because you're you're a fan right okay you're a fan and you're posting up your person now when you're in that circle and it looks like i don't know how to explain it now and it looks like you're just you're over like but she asked you a question before we went into the story. Uh -huh. She said, if you're David O's friend, friend, would you be like posting you have him one all the time? And you said, yes. You said yes. You agreed with me. You said yes. But you said yes. Posting him all the time. I don't think this one posts him all the time because I checked this page. Apparently, not he does every start, the start of the week. No, he doesn't every start of the week. That's what she said. Now, you said if your week does not start. Why are you arguing with me? Am I trauma? Sorry. This one, she's the one that said it. You, mm -hmm. you, okay, so you two, you're trying to defend it because you know that that statement is offensive. It's not offensive. I'm not saying. I'm just trying to make sure that we have our facts right. right. I'm not just saying it because um, it's offensive. And to me, I I saw it mm -hmm. and I just laughed and like this one was in the crazy like. So oh, part of my part of my French. Mm -hmm. I just spoke French in case you don't know. It's a new French word. Oh so my God. so in my mind, I was like. Um, well, those guys, they're, they're, they're so funny. Like, they have to be really cool. And I'm sure if we go back and find out, you'll find out that, look, it was all a joke. I didn't get I'm that vibe when I read me that. Me too. I didn't yeah, get that vibe. Yeah. And I, I think you, if people want to actually have a vibe, they don't re, they don't resist giving off that vibe. If they wanted to joke, they'll freaking I'm joke. sure but, this will still okay. unravel, and they will still come out and be like, guys, it's not really that it's serious. See that your mom will say something on... Because I don't even think David Doe would condone his lawyer speaking to the mother of his child that type of way. On okay. social media. I think, okay. We look forward to it. Yeah. Let's go on to like more serious things, okay. um, which is which has been on everybody's mind in the entertainment industry, which is obviously important for us on this table. Um, and that's Omale and uh, Thames mm -hmm. and Muiwa as well. Mm -hmm. So Burner Boy, Whiskey, Davido, and a host of other celebrities have called for the release of Omale and Thames as they are remanded in prison in Uganda. Hmm. So the authorities call basically Nigerian authorities have tried to get involved and nothing has happened. Omale and Thames have been charged to court and are actually in prison as we speak. At least the last update that we got is that they're still in prison. Uh, and it's a bit, it's, it's serious. It's, it's something that has gone out of hand really quickly. But I remember we had this conversation. Did we? Yesterday. Yes, we did. Yeah. We had this conversation yesterday as to, you know, um, whether or not they were at fault for what they did and all of that. So me, me going first, let me just go for Fahey guys' opinion. Okay. I'll sound again with what I said yesterday. It's not the job of this of the of the artist who's performing at your event to keep the NDC. I don't know what they are called there, but <laughs> we call them N NCDC mm -hmm. to keep the 
um, regulation rules. Um, okay. It's not the job of the artist to go and make sure that the tables are separate and that they're spacing between everybody. My job is to go on, on set, perform, and go home. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, you do. Because I'm not the person who organized it. It's not in my name and all of that. So um, even if, let's just say, away from that, let's say even if they were... <coughs> Oh, they knew me. that there was not going to be social distancing and then they did what they did. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is a criminal offense to be treated the way that they are being treated, especially with the kind of caliber oh. that, they, that they said that they were. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you said you're an artist. I, for me to apply for a visa, they always have to say, state a reason. You knew that I was coming to perform mm -hmm. and entertain your, or your people who requested for me. First of all, do you know what I mean? Like, they, you did all that. You gave me the visa. I got to the airport. I told you again that I'm performing, except maybe there's something I don't know. And so some secret thing that nobody knew, which I really doubt um, was the case. Okay. So, you know, they knew all of that. And then now all of a sudden you are treating these people like, like, criminals. like criminals and you're putting them in handcuffs. And it's just really unacceptable. If, if Drake went and performed at Uganda, would they honestly be treating him um, like this? But mm -hmm. your take, guys. Like I said yesterday, you know I criticized um, Omali for going for the concert in the mm -hmm. first place. Yes, she did. Yes, and I still stand by my words. But notwithstanding, what they're doing right now is totally uh, unfair and unacceptable. Because, like you said earlier, you, they invited um, Omali to Uganda to, come, to perform. They organized the event. Are you trying to say um, the, poly, um, the security didn't know they were going to organize this event before? Obviously, there are going to be posters outside, like, okay, this show is going to happen. Radio announcements, everything. They didn't stop the show. They stopped the show. Um, I actually hear that they actually arrested them after mm. the show. They allowed them to perform. You not arrested them. It does not make sense at yeah. all. It's totally unfair. And like, using the words of um, Peter, okay, we don't want Wala. Please just release our artists and let them go back to Nigeria. Babe. All right, if I really quickly, because we need to go on a break. All right, so um, according to section 127, if I'm correct, um, that was what I was trying to confirm earlier. But in section 127 of the penal code of the uh, of Uganda, mm -hmm. it states, uh, I'm not going to say word for word, but at least it says that, look, if you are going to contribute to a spread of a disease, of, of a dangerous disease that, mm -hmm. that is, that's going to endanger lives, you can be in prison for up to seven years. Yeah, we know that. So it, is, so it, is, it is there. You understand? So why are we saying that? Is it a criminal offense? Yes, we may be asking that. Who are the people to be questioned? That should mm -hmm. they really be treated like that? Are they really treated like they are humane? No, they, they shouldn't be in cuffs because these are things that as a whole chain of people, the organizers and everybody. Do you understand? So we should never forget that, look, the law still stands. Yes, so but the, if law the, law, if it, the law is, 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 the law that doesn't is work. so ar arguable because they didn't go there knowing deliberately that I'm going to put Thank these you. people in I charge. I think you're focusing on the wrong yes, people. Yes, you're making... You're focusing on the organizers and the promoters, new, not on my how how the organ yes. Okay, was. one minute. Yesterday, I was the one talking about how um, the organizer should be the one held accountable. And you remember that, hey, well, take responsibility yeah, for the yeah, act. And then suddenly, wait, 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 I don't wait, get it. Yesterday, I, I did support both simple. parties. I said, Omale is, okay. is to be questioned and the organizers still have to be questioned. In, in as much as there were people, you brought up the I law. Won. It, 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 it doesn't apply to mm -hmm. the, to, um, to Omale. Omale yes, and Temp. It doesn't. What do you mean it doesn't apply to law? They are not the ones who deliberately went and organized an event that could but spread the virus. But you were invited. Okay, have you guys know? seen Abike Dabiri's tweet? How do they know? How do they know? What are we saying? If you know that I'm going to perform, were you not the same person saying it? Because I went to perform does not mean that I know the intricate details of how the organizers have plant people together. Mm -hmm. If somebody tells My, me, what I said do, you know, do you know how many times I've, I've, I've gone to parties and they'll invite me for a party and then okay. say, I'll say, what about COVID? They say, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be space and all that. And I get that and there's no space. I'm not supposed to be arrested for that. Let's go on a Wait, break. Wait, Let's go on a break. Please, don't go anywhere. It's getting hot in here, but we'll be right back.